Hello everyone, welcome to the Power Platform Clinic channel with me Andre Marguno from Melbourne, Australia. This channel is inspired to help you and provide answers to your Power Platform and Dynamics 365 related questions. The questions that I would like to answer today was coming from my ex colleague who had a question on how to configure the chat-based solution using Omnichannel for Dynamics 365 customer service and integrate it seamlessly with our virtual agents. So, in this video, we will discuss the first part of the equation, which is how to set up and configure the Omnichannel for customer service. So, to begin with, I have opened the official documentation that was provided by Microsoft. And by the way, you can also check the links and the references that I used to create this video from the description section below. Now, the first part that we're going to look at is actually the prerequisite section. Since it is often that we have gone too far with, with doing something, but we forgot the very basic things that we need to check, which is the prerequisite. So the first thing here is that we need to have an active subscription for chat for Dynamics 365 for customer service or the Dynamics 365 digital messaging. The second important part that we need to make sure also that we need to have a user with the global tenant admin access as well as Dynamics 365 system admin privilege. The next step to configure Omnichannel is that we need to provide the data access consent and that is the very reason that we need to have the global tenant admin privilege. So to provide the consent, simply click the data access content URL here and it will open up a page with the prompt to provide the consent. Once it is successful, it will show the outcome. Well, let's go back to the documentation and to see the next step, which is to set up the Omnichannel for customer service. Let's open up the Power Platform Admin Center and from the left navigation menu on the left hand side here, let's expand the resources option and click on the Dynamics 365 apps. And then let's find the Omnichannel for customer service and click on the Manage Options menu here. Once the setup page has been loaded up, click on the Add Environment up here. This will give us a guided step to configure the Omnichannel. First, let's select the environment to be configured. The next few steps are to give us the option to configure which channel that we would like to configure and to be provisioned by this setup process. So let's continue and enabling all of the channels that are available here. The final step is to click on the finish button. It will take a few moments for the provisioning process to complete. So it's all running on the background and if you move away or navigate away from this page, your work and the provisioning process will still continue. You might be able to grab a cup of coffee or something while the background process is doing its work. A few moments later. Now the Omnichannel setup is finished. Let's open up our instance to check whether it has been configured and provisioned properly. Now from the landing page here, we can see that it has the Omnichannel Administration app as well as the Omnichannel Agent app. By the way, a quick tip just to make sure that the provisioning is complete without any issue. Let's open up the channel integration framework and we just confirming whether everything is configured here. 
Now let's navigate to the Omnichannel Administration app. The first thing that we would like to configure now is the web chat. So let's navigate to the chat channel. Let's create the chat channel by clicking the new button up here. Let's fill in the some basic information such as the name, agent display name. It's basically to show on how the agent name would be uh, visible for your customer. And actually, there are other options in that is within the chat widget here that we can review in the future video. For the purpose of the basic setup, let's keep things basic here and standard. I would like to highlight the code snippet section here where the system has generated the JavaScript where we can use later on to test and embed it in, uh, in our website or web application. The next important step to configure Omnichannel is to set up the user. For a brand new instance, there will be no user available under the Omnichannel user list here. So to make sure the user that are listed and to be um, able to use the omnichannel capability, you will need to have the user to be assigned with the relevant security role or security roles. So to do that, we'll go to the security section here and we need to add the omnichannel role to the relevant user. For simplicity, we can just add all of the omnichannel security roles here so that we can test out and uh, without the need for us to keep changing the security roles. Once given the security role, the user will be listed up under omnichannel user. We can look around at the details here and we can go to the Omnichannel tab here. As we can see, there are some options that are relevant for Omnichannel. For example, the first one is um, the capacity. We can uh, adjust here to set the amount of works that we can handle by this particular user at a given of time. By the way, just a quick tip here, every time we, whenever we make changes to any part of Omnichannel configuration, it may take up to 15 minutes for the changes to reflect. So just keeping in mind, if we want to test out everything very quickly, it might not be there yet. The next configuration to set up is the queue. By default, there will be personal queue, but then let's configure the specific queue that we are going to use for web chat. Once the basic details are filled in, let's then click on the save button. Typically, we will need to add the user or the agents to the queue. Uh, since I'm the owner of the queue, I am added to this queue by default. Okay, the next important thing to review is the work stream. We will need to make sure the live chat work stream is there and configured. Just a quick information uh, work stream is actually the magic of omnichannel where you can put all of the skill attachment rules or context variables routing rules and some more such as this uh, smart assist and quick replies here but for the demo purpose let's leave it, it as is for now now our basic setup for omnichannel web chat window is complete let's try out the chat widget so let's copy the code snippet here and actually to keep it simple for that testing purpose we don't need to host it on any website we can use something like w3 schools to test out our widget we then just paste the code snippet in the header section up here and click on the run button And as we can see here, the chat widget is now added. 
by the way just in case it is not showing up for you you might want to wait for around 15 minutes or so to make sure all of the changes and the scripts are ready to be consumed uh, to check it is working I'm going to keep this window side by side so I will op I'm opening up the agent app on the other window and it's showing up it's um, available now and let's start connecting and start chatting from here All right, that is the quick setup and demo on how to configure Omnichannel. By the way, Omnichannel has the built-in sentiment analysis up here that we can see that our previous chat experience is quite positive. So that's all for today as part of the walkthrough video on how to configure Omnichannel for Dynamics 365 customer service. In the next video, I will continue to walk through with the guide to configure and integrate omnichannel with power virtual agents so stay tuned with this channel and as always comments and feedback are really appreciated see you next time and hope it helps see ya